to the Prophecy Club. I'm going to talk about the fall of America today. June 28th, I made a brand new DVD, and it's called 2014 to 2021. Essentially, it is the predictions of two cows. (laughs) I know what that sounds like, but it's really important, okay? And 13 modern prophecies coming from prophets and holy servants of God. Now, I only make two comments, for one from me and one from my wife in this DVD. All the rest of it is from other people. Now, I strongly, I cannot strongly enough recommend that you go to prophecyclub.com and get this DVD today. And if you can't go on the internet, then the phone number to call is 785-266-1112. Grab your cell phone, put it in, call them, get this DVD, 785 266 Eleven, twelve. I'll give it again here in just a minute. 2014 to 2021 is the DVD you want to order. Now, I'm going to cover the topics quickly, <laughs> if I can. <laughs> There's so many to them, uh, so much to them. And then I want to talk about the fall of America, what the prophets say is coming. Now, the DVD, first of all, 2014 to 2021, you can get it by calling 785-266-1112. 785-266-1112, better yet, go to prophecyclub.com. Just spell prophecy properly, and prophecy is spelled with a C. If you put an S in there, then you wind up over in who knows where, some limbo place. Topics are, all prophecies in this DVD are confirmed by two or three witnesses. September 25th, 2014 actually started the last seven years of plenty. We would say the last seven years of happiness, the last seven years of having some sort of a normal lifestyle. September 25th, 2014 started the last seven of them. Then I have two sources that say September 25th of this year, the Pope will announce a world government, that they are forming a world government. And that, of course, is the whole purpose behind the Jade Helm. And that is that they have pre-positioned men and equipment because they know that America is not going to go along with them forming a new world order. Okay, bullet point number three. The seven-year tribulation will start from 2022 to 2028. And I have three reasons why I say that. Again, get the DVD and I will tell you why I say that. Then the global currency reset is also going to hit this fall. And I explain what that is. The welfare checks will stop. That's right. They're going to stop sending out welfare checks. Now, can you imagine what's going to happen? Of course, the answer is burning the cities. That's right. Protesting will start all across the land. It's going to be much worse than Ferguson and Baltimore all rolled together, and it's going to be all across the land. Consequently, Obama will declare martial law, says the prophets says the prophets also that this will cause all kind well this will cause the internal revolution that Dimitri was told about. The fall of America will start with an internal revolution started by the communists. Some of the people will start fighting against the government. The government will be busy with internal problems. Then from the oceans, Russia, Cuba, Nicaragua, Central America, Mexico, and two of the countries will attack and defeat America in one day and one hour such great riches will come to naught. That is caused by martial law. Obama stays in office, says the martial law laws, for five years. Constitution suspended. Civil rights are gone. Local militias fire at Obama men. Guns are confiscated. (laughs) Yep, that's right. So, matter of fact, the guns are confiscated before Russia attacks. So when Russia attacks and our wonderful president surrenders, and I'm about to read the surrender speech that one person was shown, then Christian martyrdom can happen not just across America, but across the globe without stopping. They form the world government just like Bible prophecy says is coming. Okay, now, Let's get to the topic I want to talk about today, which, by the way, this part is on the DVD that I recommend you get called 2014 to 2021. Gift of $30, be the best $30 you've given to a ministry in a long time. Prophecyclub.com, prophecyclub.com. 2014 to 2021 is the name of it. Let me read you some quotes. Suddenly I felt the presence of God. 
and then heard the very familiar voice that I've learned to recognize and love to say to me, Russia will do a nuclear attack. There will be a nuclear attack on the United States. That uh, was told to Augusto Perez. One of the men approached me and said to me in a loud voice, there's going to be a revolution in America. It will usher in the new world order. Also told to Augusto Perez. Terry told me, meaning to me personally, on a personal phone call, that the fall of America would take place in the year 2021. That's Terry Bennett. Patricia Green was told that this war will last five years. Now, again, if you get the DVD, and I show you some charts on there. I go through the charts, and I help you to understand what's going to happen between now and 2021. And then I've got another chart that I cover in there, what's going to happen from there on over through 2028. And it's all of the tribulation. Again, get the DVD, and then I will explain it to you. This is from Henry Groover. He says, I saw the jagged lines like they draw to show that communications are coming out. They begin to sprinkle down on the earth like dust. And I thought, oh no, oh no, they're not getting through. They're not getting through. They don't know what is happening. They're totally oblivious. Then I began to see submarines emerging from under the surface, close to our borders, almost like they were sitting on our beaches, on east and the west coast. Then I saw missiles come out and land all up and down the east and west coastal cities of the United States. And I cried out, and I said, Oh God, oh God, when will this be, and what will be the sign of its coming? I heard an audible voice speak from behind me and say, When Russia opens her doors and lets the masses go, the free world will occupy themselves with transporting, housing, feeding, and caring for the masses, and will let down their weapons and cry peace and safety. Then sudden destruction will come. Then is when it will come. That was shown to Henry Groover in a vision. Then Maurice Scalar says, Then he spoke. His voice was like thunder and echoed throughout the whole harbor. He said, How long will you refuse to humble yourself, O America? You have been weighed in the balances of God and been found wanting. Your beginning was great and noble, but your end shall be disgrace and destruction. Again, Maurice Sklar. Patricia Green was told, It will be a season of devastation from all directions. The first devastation will hit, and when America is reeling from that one, the second one will hit right on its heels. When it looks like it cannot get any worse, indeed, it will. This series of devastating events will cripple the nation of America and bring her to her knees. Bree Keaton was shown... I saw several nukes hit up and down the east and west coasts of America. Then I saw a war breaking out all up and down the center part of the country. A lot of fighting, and it started spreading out. There was a lot of death and destruction. Would you like to know the surrender speech? You see, what the pictures from the prophets, from the holy servants of God, seem to be saying is that America falls very quickly. Now, I could read other prophecies that verify what I'm talking about there. But apparently, when the attack hits, and one person was told that the bombs drop for about three days. In other words, <laughs> at the first bomb going off, I can just see Obama running to the red phone, picking it up, hoping and praying. <laughs> well, let me, let me take back praying. <laughs> if he prays, he certainly doesn't pray to our God. Uh, but anyway, he picks up the red phone, but the Russians don't answer. They're not done. They plan to totally devastate this nation. One person was shown that the bombing goes on for some three days. I had somebody email me and say, hey, can you find out who said that? Yeah, I looked through my notes. I can't find out who said that. I just remember it, okay? But it sounds reasonable, so I'm going to keep saying it. So Obama runs to the red phone, but the Russians don't answer. Finally, when the surrender speech does come. This is what I believe this one person, Daniel Davis, was shown. Ladies and gentlemen, I have an announcement to make. America, as you have known it, has ceased to exist. All property lines have been dissolved, and the U.S. dollar is worthless. When the people heard this announcement, they began to panic. Again, that was shown Daniel Davis. 
Now, we have a whole DVD by him showing lots and lots of other things. As a matter of fact, all of these people I've been talking about, we have DVDs on them except Patricia Green, and we have her probably going to come in this fall. It makes sense, too, because just like when America went into Iraq and overcame Iraq, one of the first things they did was take the Iraqi dinar offline. Just like when Saddam Hussein invaded Kuwait, they took the Kuwaiti dinar, their currency, offline. In other words, they make it worthless, and that's exactly what they do in this particular speech. The last segment says the U.S. dollar is worthless. In other words, they take our dollar offline. Okay, now, one of the bullet points is that America falls in the year 2021. Now, I cover all of this in detail on the uh, DVD, but I'm going to cover it briefly here today. Again, get the DVD for all of the information, the, the charts, the explanation, and the layouts, so you can understand what I'm saying. I mean, that's a big statement to say that the Russians are going to attack and defeat America in the year 2021. I know. I know that's a big statement, but I have actually on the DVD, I only covered like three reasons, but I really have like seven reasons. So I'm going to cover a couple of them today. First of all, the Mayflower Compact was our covenant with God. Now, of course, the covenant that was made with Israel was made back in the days of Moses. But Israel has a covenant, and the only other nation I know of that also has a covenant with God that we would be a nation to follow his laws is America. Oh, Stan, well, really? Well, when did we have a covenant with God? Okay, the answer is we'll be right back after this message. Legally, we can't guarantee this trouble will come this year, but of course, having emergency supplies is a good idea. Mina Grebin says she was told to have at least one year's food and supplies, including water, and you must have all preparations done by the end of the 2015 summer. She says buy food and supplies. We offer plan A, three meals a day, one person, one year. Plan B, one person, six months. Plan C, one person, three months. Or a grab-and-go bucket with 72 meals. Call 800-924-7110 or go to prophecyclubfood.com. That's 800-924-7110 or prophecyclubfood.com. Lindsay Williams has just made his newest and perhaps his best DVD called Fall 2015 Preparations. That's right. Topics are events scheduled for September through December. Things the elite told me to do. Know what you're preparing for. Have an alternate location. Move or suffer. How to stay warm without electricity and the date the new world order will be implemented. You did hear that right. It's fall 2015 preparations. Call 785-266-1112 or go to prophecyclub.com. Call 785-266-1112 or go to prophecyclub.com. Fall 2015 preparations by Lindsay Williams. Get it today. And now back to the program. Oh, Stan, well, really, well, when did we have a covenant with God? Okay, the answer is the Mayflower Compact. It was signed November the 11th, 1620. The situation was the Mayflower pulled into the Princetown Harbor. They hadn't even got off the boat yet, and they decided to write up a document, and they all signed it, saying that we are forming a new nation for the furtherance of the Christian faith, unquote. And when they signed that, That started 400 years of judgment. You see, there's a 400-year judgment cycle. There's a 40-year judgment cycle. We know 40 days, 40 days and 40 nights it rained upon the earth, okay? So 40 or 4 is the number of judgment. Now, how do we know that's 400 years later America is going to be destroyed? Well, we had Shane Warren come in and made a DVD for Prophecy Club called Storm, Judgment, and Revival. Again, you can get that at prophecyclub.com also. And he said that there is a 400-year judgment cycle and that that judgment cycle will be up in 2020. So there you go. That's the second witness on it. In other words, 400 years. Let's put it this way. We know that looking at what happened to Israel, Israel went down into Egypt and they were there for 400 years. And then God brought judgment upon Egypt. Of course, and that was all of the plagues and all of the 
uh, you know, Moses, the Exodus, all of the wilderness, all of that story. But that happened. They were down there for 400 years, you see. So after 400 years was when the judgment fell upon Egypt. And after 400 years is when the judgment falls upon America. Now, let's go on to the next reason. The very first person that God pronounced judgment on America was Demetri Dudeman. And in 1980, the angel came to Dimitri and told him that he was going to send him to America to give them a message from God. He says, but get busy. He said, you have four more years to carry Bibles. They will follow you step by step. But when they see they can't catch you, they're going to kick you out of your country. So that you know that I'm truly the angel of God, I'm going to tell you the year, the month, the day, and the hour you will be exiled. July 22, 1984, 10 o'clock in the morning. And of course, the story goes on. For four years, he carried Bibles through all kinds of checkpoints. They could see that they were books, but they couldn't see they were Bibles. He was not caught. Finally, he was released and sent to America without all going into all of the message. I've talked about that on other broadcasts. But the point is, God first spoke the judgment that he was going to destroy America to Dimitri Dudeman, and he spoke it in the year 1980. So if you add 40 years to 1980, what year do you come up with? The answer is 2020. All right, now let's go to another reason, also on the DVD. April 4th of 2015, the Lord spoke to Patricia Green and said, quote, you have five more Passovers to preach the gospel. Okay, that was 2015. So if you add five years to 2015, what does that come up with? 2020. These last seven years that began September 25th, 2014, are the harvest years. These are the best soul-winning years there is ever going to be because once we go into the judgment, once we go into the tribulation, somewhere in there, they will be the verse fulfilled that the night cometh when no one can fish. No one is going to be able to tell people about Jesus or you lose your head, okay? And that's all in the New World Order. So these are the best years on earth to win souls. During this time when the trouble hits, that's when people are going to start thinking about God and turning back to God. All right, now for the next and the final reason, I was on the phone with Terry Bennett, and he told me in a personal phone call that the angel Gabriel told him that the fall of America would be in the year 2021. So there you go. You got a lot of reasons for saying 2021 is the year. Now, did I prophesy anything about that? No, none of that came from me. Matter of fact, as I said on the several times on the DVD, there's only two things that come from me and my wife. One thing, and that is, and I still stand behind it, the dream that I was shown that there's going to be a series of suitcase nukes go off all across America, and she was shown seven signs that lead to the fall of America. Here, I'll give you those signs right quick. Now, this is not the order that she was given them in, and she heard the audible voice of God speak these to her. So there is no question these will come to pass. And, by the way, in, I guess it was June of 2008, when God spoke to me audibly and said, Stan, I will give you the money to drill the well in Israel, unquote. That same night, for the rest of the evening, he showed me that when these signs start coming to pass, and they will, then people from all walks of life, all directions from all over, will begin to turn and listen to your ministry because then they will know for certain that what you've been saying is true. So these are the headlines that I believe, this is the order I believe that they will be fulfilled in. It's not necessarily the order that she was given them in. Okay, number one, Omer ushers in Palestinian state meaning there's a headline out there, a newspaper headline, that is saying that they will split Jerusalem. They will give the Palestinians a state. Two, catastrophe hits America. I don't know what that catastrophe is. My guess is either a series of suitcase nukes or a meteor strike. Three, one of America's greatest times of need. If whether we got hit with suitcase nukes or a meteor strike, America would be on her knees and should be on her knees praying, but she's just on her knees strength-wise. Four, Israel refuses help to America. 
So America cries to all of the world, hey, we've been the one that's been coming to help you. Now will you help us? And our good friend that we just split their land, we just forced them to get the Palestinians a state, turns around and says, no, well, we're not going to help you. And I don't blame them the way we've treated the Jews. Five is Israel is attacked. America sends troops, which, of course, is the right thing to do. And then here's the start of your internal revolution. Chaos reigns as Americans protest help to Israel. Then she heard my voice quoting the angel that spoke to Dmitry Dudeman saying, it will start with an internal revolution started by the communists. In other words, the fall of America. So there you have it. There's five or six different reasons why America falls in the year 2021. Now I'm going to add one more to you here. 2021 is the end of the second year Shemitah cycle after which the new world order is formed, after the fall of the third beast of Daniel chapter 7. In other words, we know that the whole point of Daniel chapter 7 is to tell us when Jesus returns. Okay, in other words, it says first there's going to be a lion, England, that had eagle's wings, that's America. Then the next beast is a bear, the Russian bear. The third beast is going to be the leopard, and that's Islam, the caliphate. And it's going to have four heads and four wings. In other words, four land masses. Each land mass has a leader, but it is going to be an Islamic leopard. And I can go into that. I've covered that other times. So I'll skip that. Then the fourth beast, the world government, comes in and destroys all of the other former beasts. And it forms a new world order, a new world government. And that's the whole point of Daniel chapter 7. Now, we know that America does not make it into the New World Order. How do we know that? Because we see in Daniel chapter 7, there's eagle's wings. But then you look, and the same beasts are listed out in Revelation 13, 1, the forming of the New World Order, the beast out of the sea, but you see there's no eagle's wings. Now, you can ask anybody walking down the street, and you ask them, what is the last great nation on earth that is standing for some semblance of good? And everybody's going to say America. Okay, now those people that do know that we're heading to a world government, that do know that they're planning a new world order, if you ask them, what is the thing that stands between us now and these conspiratorial evil people getting their world government? They will all answer the same thing. They will all say America. I mean, we're the only ones out there that stand for any kind of good. And of course, after America falls, and she will, then there, you're right. There's very little good left in the world at that time, and that's the reason great trouble comes upon the earth. But out of it, there's going to be a lot of people saved, and that's what God is interested in. He's not interested to see that America is the number one nation. He's not interested to see who wins the Super Bowl. He is interested in seeing his kingdom filled up with people that will receive him. Speaking of that, now is the time, brothers and sisters, for all of us to come out of sin. All those little secret sins, all those secret little wrong things we're doing, we know they're wrong. you got to stop doing them. Look, the angel that spoke to Dimitri said, you tell them that if they want my protection in the day of trouble, they have to stop sinning now. If you have sin on your soul then you do not, uh, you should not, you better not expect any kind of supernatural protection from God. The angel that spoke to Dimitri said, only those people that are weeping and crying before me, only those people that have a clean heart will be protected in the day, in the hard day, in the day of trouble. So brothers and sisters, let me encourage you to stop sinning, repent, turn to Jesus with your whole heart. Let me also encourage you to get this DVD I just had another person just a few minutes ago, long, long time friend and supporter of our ministry, call me and just go up and down, up and down about how good this DVD is. I'm telling you, it's really, really good. And it's not me. This is what God is speaking. If you want to know what God is speaking these days, what is he saying to his prophets? Here he is. <laughs> it's on this DVD. It's called 2014 to 2021. And you can get it at prophecyclub.com. Just spell prophecy with a C, prophecyclub.com. I also recommend you go to prophecyclubfood.com 
and get yourself some emergency food. Because when they declare martial law, one of the things that the prophets have been shown is they will not let you leave your house. Some cases, you can't leave your house for four to six weeks. That's what they've been shown. And in another case, the angel spoke to Mina Grebin and told her and her family to get one year's supply of food and water, and she was told to get it done before the end of the 2015 summer. So there's not much time. Now, you can laugh and you can poke fun, but when martial law is declared and you don't have any food and water, you're going to be standing in like You're going to be in a world of hurt. So go to prophecyclubfood.com. Plan A is food for one person one year. Plan B, food for one person six months. Plan C, food for one person three months. You can also get a grab-and-go bucket with 76 servings in it. All you got to do is add boiling water. And you can also call your order in to 800-924-7110. Prophecyclub.com, and you order the DVD 2014 to 2021. Prophecyclubfood.com gets you food One person, one year is my suggestion for each member of your family. And by the way, that's not all. I recommend you also go to prophecyclub.com and get yourself a Berkey water filter. I personally filter all of my water through a Berkey water filter. I do it all the time anyway. I mean, I take it out of the tap. I still run it through there. Now, this Berkey water filter, there's all kinds of, I mean, there's big ones, medium, small ones. I'd recommend the big Berkey at a very minimum. The only thing is, is... When this trouble hits, you're probably going to have to be supplying water for perhaps your whole block. Uh, So you might want to get something with more than just four filters. But nevertheless, get you something. The reason you want the Berkey water filter is it's the one that the missionaries use. You don't have to have any water pressure. You can pour water out of a bucket into the top. You can find water in a rain hole someplace where it's accumulated. Maybe it has mosquitoes in it, whatever. You pour in the crummy, dirty water on the top and out comes clean water out of the bottom and it only takes a minute or so to get through there. So I recommend the big Berkey water filter. You can get it at Prophecy Club Dot com. So summarizing, prophecyclub.com to get the DVD 2014 to 2021, prophecyclubfood.com to get you food at least one person, one year, plan A for each person in your family is my recommendation. Go back to prophecyclub.com to get your Berkey water filter. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your prayers and thank you for your regular monthly support. God bless. Now from the Prophecy Club, some exciting opportunities for you. It's time for our summer blowout. You can get 20 DVDs for a gift of $160, that's only $8 each, 10 for a gift of 100, that's 10 each, 7 for a gift of 120, that's 17 each, 4 DVDs for a gift of 85, that's 21 each, or 2 DVDs for a gift of 50, $25 each. But you got to call 785-266-1112. That's 785-266-1112, and the offer ends soon. Come and go with the Prophecy Club to Israel. November 5 to 15, Leslie and I will take you on a biblical archaeology and a Bible prophecy tour. A tour like none other. What makes our tour different than the other tours? Well, we're going to take you to the traditional sites the other tours go on, but we're going beyond. We're going to show you the places and give you information other tours can't. In 1991, Leslie and I went on a tour with Ron Wyatt. He showed us archaeological secrets in Israel we're going to show to you, such as the iron spike that sealed the tomb of Jesus, proving Gordon's Calvary really is the tomb of Jesus. And you're going to pick up brimstone from the city of Gomorrah. You'll gather tar drips from the slime pits of Sodom. You'll visit the more likely birthplace of Jesus, not the one the tour buses stop at. In a special escort, you'll get to go behind the gates at the Garden of Gethsemane and pray. And if the drilling permit has been granted, we'll also go pray over the future drill sites for prophetic oil. Yes, you'll see many of the traditional sites, but this tour goes way beyond. Call 310-402-4042. That's 310-402-4042 for more information. Seating is limited. 310-402-4042.